Trey Ogden against Jordan Levitt. So 15 and 4 for Trey Ogden against uh, 9 and 1 for Jordan Levitt. And Ogden coming in making his uh, UFC debut, isn't he? He's just coming off a. Did he win the Fury FC title? I think that's what he won in his last fight. Yes, he did. Fury FC 53 against JJ Akanovich. Um, arm triangled him. That was a really fun fight to watch. Yeah. Really, really like slick striking, confidence. Like, you know, his lead leg's very busy, always doing something with his lead leg. Got this kind of difficult to read style. Um, but then, you know, it hits the floor as well. He, he was just, he was very impressive. I, I think this is a, I think this is a good fight for him because I, I feel like he's got enough skills to keep this on the feet. And I don't feel like Levitt's confident enough to, you know, he's not, he's just not confident in the striking range. He's got very kind of non-committal striking, you know what I mean? And I, and I feel like Ogden's going to feel like this is a good matchup for him, especially because he's got good sub-defense as well. I mean, Le Levitt, I definitely feel like he has the, the advantage on the ground yeah. for sure, but I could see Ogden beating him up everywhere. That's, that's, that's what I thought. I mean, Levitt, I don't think either of these guys are going to be scared to go if it does go to the ground, though. No. Because they're both, I mean, Ogden's got loads of submission finishes. And they're quite like quick yes round, round one round two finishes yep. as well rear naked chokes yeah guillotines so I, and i felt like you said like ogden is a better all round like he's more comfortable on the feet and levitt like he does back away and he's kind of always looking to shoot and get it to the ground yeah um i think he looked a little bit better in his last fight against um who was it again uh matt so matt sales yeah he did yeah he did but even even then he was just always looking for the the submission yeah and he was kind of it, it's not even like it doesn't really strike with much venom either he was kind of like padding him on the ground i know it was it was used to to open up uh yeah but his like priority is submissions yeah yeah like yeah. he's not he's not striking to really damage anybody no. and, I, and i do feel like that's where ogden has the advantage yeah. i mean you know Le levitt it might end up on the floor and levitt might end up tangling him up with something wild like that you know that inverted triangle but I, I i don't know i feel like experience being on ogden's side i feel like the fact that he's got a more well-rounded game and i feel like his striking is more dangerous that even if he finds himself like, like, even if he finds himself in the guard of Levitt defending arm bars and working ground and pound like he did against Akanovic, I, I, I think he's, I think he can beat him there as well. Um, Jordan Levitt's determination to get a submission, I think, is what gets what will get him in trouble in this yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Good fighter, but he's, he's just, and I, I, I'd love to see some more, uh, mm. <laughs> some more anger in his shots, some more venom in his shots. Yeah, I did I'm going pick Trey Ogden. Uh, I picked Levitt. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. How, so, how do you, how do you see him winning? Sub. I did. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I see him going uh, for a submission. But the only re really reason why I picked him is because he's got a bit more experience in the UFC at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. He's gone through the contender series and he's had three fights, like a tough fight as well against uh, Proyes. Yeah. Um. That was rough though. Like, yeah. I, that, that's that's one of the reasons why I could see this Triogden fight not going his way because of what players did to him yeah like for sure i mean like the matt wyman slam that was you know that's that's just one of those one of those situations you know what i mean it, arm triangle in the contender series he's got anacondas and heel hooks and stuff he's he's definitely got a very strong submission game but i, I feel like if he can't get it there and i feel like ogden's going to be able to stop him doing it then i feel like he struggles i'm going ogden i think ogden's going to tko him yeah mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Levitt. Oh yeah, yeah. Monkey King. I could I could see I could see Trey Ogden taking his back but not being able to sub him, but then flattening him out and TKOing him from like a back mount position. I could see that happening. He's had a lot of cancelled bouts. Um, Who uh, Levitt? Ogden has. He had four in a row recently. I bet he's glad to be in the UFC so he can get some regular action. Yeah, no, I'm going I'm going Trey Ogden for sure. Yeah, I like a I like a, a confident newcomer.